my goodness, today is the day that I get to review the Jaclyn Hill palette too. I am so excited. I actually ordered this online on Thursday when it came out, but I still haven't received it. So yesterday when I went to Porto's, whoever's from LA knows that place, the place is bomb. <laughs> so I went to Porto's and I asked my fiance, I was like, dude, can we go to Morphe? It's literally like a block away from Porto. So we walked and I got it. I am so excited, you guys. I've been literally obsessing over this palette just because it screams my name. Like, are you guys kidding me? Look at these colors. Like, look at the purple, the pink, the orange, the red. I mean, if you guys haven't seen that campaign photo of Jaclyn Hill having that red smoky eye. Dude, when I first saw it, hold on, let me get it for you guys. This is the smoky eye I'm talking about. Like, can you guys see? Like, as soon as I saw that picture, I was like, bitch, I need to have this. Like, literally, just because of this red smoky eye, I was like, I need the palette. Like, I did do some swatches in, in the beginning of the video, so you guys are gonna see how, you know, they swatch. They're really, really beautiful. If you guys want another video using this palette, let me know. I am so down to, you know, create more looks using this palette. I did do a very bright sunset look right here. I'm willing to do a more, you know, neutral look if you guys want. Also, if you guys are not yet subscribed, please go ahead and click that subscribe button and don't forget to like share the video without any further ado before I keep on rambling let's go ahead and get started I'm just gonna go ahead and pick my top five favorite shades and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them and show you guys how they swatch so let's go ahead so first of all of course I have to go with tipsy girl this neon pink the camera does not pick up how neon this color is legit dude it's like fuchsia pink so I'm super excited. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it with my finger and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Alright, you see how pink that is? Oh my god. It's swatched really nice. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up Positivity, which is this one right here, this orange one. Alright, so I just brought them down a little bit, but look at the colors. They are, wow. They are so beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that shade which is Living My Best, which is this red one. And it has sparkles on it, so it's so pretty. Oh my god. This is legit. Oh gosh, a red red. Are you kidding me? Look at this, guys. Oh my god. I mean, could I have found like a weirder swatching position? Seriously, <laughs> but look at this. Hold on, let me try to bring it down so you guys can see it. Look at that red one. Okay, I'm also gonna go ahead and pick up a purple, just because a lot of people keep saying purples are so hard to do, blah, 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 blah. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how they pick up. I'm gonna try Not My Journey, which is this uh, dark purple right here. Dude, they're so buttery. Look how beautiful that purple is. Are you kidding me? Okay, and then one last one. I'm going to go ahead and try one of the shimmers. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch Talia, which is this pressed glitter one. Right here, this gold one. I mean, I'm really not a fan of, like, gold shadows. So, eh. I don't know. I feel like this is just an ordinary gold. I don't know if you guys can see that. And of course I decided to wear freaking white. Okay, so now that my fingers are clean, I'm going to pick up one last shade. Because I did swatch most of the matte shades, I'm going to go ahead and pick up another shimmer. Just, you know, to give her the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to go ahead and pick up, let's see, Drama Queen. Which is this one right here. This one's a very beautiful color right here. That's really beautiful. That's like a, like a rose gold. Yes, babe. Okay, yes. You see that? Uh, okay, yeah. I don't know about Talia. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't swatch that well, but dude, Drama Queen. This 
shade is bomb okay all right Jaclyn Hill I see you all right so enough blabbing around I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in a little closer and we're gonna go ahead and see what we come up with I'm so excited all right so now that I zoomed you guys in let's go ahead and get started with the look so I did prime my eyelids and I did do my eyebrows off camera just because it's easier for me um, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to shadow oh and then I did go to the Morphe store and I did buy one of these brush cleaners I'm really excited because when it comes to uh, cleaning my brushes dude so this is a lifesaver and it's legit like clean I don't even know how it's like freaking dry I mean, I'm not complaining. If it works, it works. All right, so the first shade that I'm going to go ahead and pick up is going to be this one, Positivity. And I'm going to go ahead and work this in my crease. The only thing that I do not like about both of her palettes is that they don't have a freaking mirror. Like, are you kidding me? Like, it's just a pain in my booty. So I'm going to pick up just, you know, a mirror here. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up Positivity and work that on my crease and i'm just going light handed just because these shadows look like they pack a punch this shade is so nice it's so pretty and they are so easy to blend all right so i'm gonna go ahead and try to go for a sunset look i've never done one of those so let's bring it <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up this brush right here, smaller blending brush, and I am going to pick up Therapy Sesh, which is this one right here, and I am going to build this out and going to place this in the outer corner. And right here, I'm just stamping it. Like, I'm not swiping, I'm just stamping the color. So I'm going to do the same here on to the other side and I'm just going to pack it right. and then after we're done packing it we're going to go ahead and blend so all I'm doing right now is just packing the color all right so now I'm going to move it in a little bit not too much because I'm going to go ahead and put another color now I'm going to go ahead and pick up tipsy girl which is this neon pink and I'm going to go ahead and place this next to therapy sesh so i'm just packing it like right here i feel like this color is so beautiful okay and then for the outer corner i'm gonna put another color just because i want it to be darker than tipsy girl and i feel like therapy sesh is not as dark as i want it to be all right so with another brush this one is the naked heat brush I'm gonna go ahead and pick up not my journey, which is this one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and deepen the outer corner and I'm, I'm gonna try to make a V shape. I know it looks freaking crazy right now, but it's gonna get better. So now with the other brush where you guys had Tipsy Girl, you see where those two shades touch? Just try to blend them in together like this. So just try to marry them together. And then if we do lose some of the color, we can go back and just pack some more. You know how they say, like, when you're cooking, clean as you go? So your mess won't show? It's the same thing with blending. Blend as you go, so your harsh lines won't show. Because <laughs> I just came up with that one. It's so funny because there is always part in your makeup routine that you look freaking crazy. And you're like, is this even going to look good? And then after you're done, you're like, all right. I see, I see, I see. I feel like this is definitely that point where you're like... <laughs> the next shade that we're going to go ahead and pick up is going to be My Man, which is this one right here. It's such a pretty neon orange color. So we're going to go ahead and pick this up and place it right next to Tipsy. We're not going to put it all the way inside the inner corner just because I want to put another shade right there. So let's see how this goes. There's a lot of fallout, but you know, if you don't do your face makeup first it should be fine oh yeah they're shady can you guys see and then i still have these three um brushes that i've been using so depending on what i see like if i feel like tipsy girl is like you know um disappearing i go back 
I put some more, blend it together, and so forth. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to our other eye. So I'm just maneuvering between like all of these brushes that I have here, trying to pack in the color. All right, so the last shade that we're gonna go ahead and pick up is going to be No Joke, which is this yellow one right here. All right, so let's see how this one performs since I didn't swatch it. So the two shades, the, the um, No Joke and My Man, um, when I'm picking up No Joke, I'm placing it in the inner corner and then I'm swiping it up and try to blend both of those two shades with No Joke. But I'm not going all the way to Tipsy or Not My Journey in Therapy Sesh. So with that one, I'm going to pick up a different color and then blend the crease for those other two shades. So now I'm going to go ahead and pick up Lolly Mama, which is this one right here. And I'm going to blend both of the two shades together. But I do see some separation with this shade here. So there's some patches here in my inner corner that are not picking up the shade. Right, so I'm literally just going back and forth with all of these shades until I'm satisfied with the color, with the intensity, with the blending. And then what I did here to blend all of the four shades together, I picked up Positivity, which is this one right here, and I just blend all of the shades together. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean my under eye, and then we're going to finish the eyes. Alright, so now that our under eyes are clean, I'm going to go ahead and put some mascara and pop some lashes. All right, so take two, my AC was on. We're gonna go ahead and just keep on going. Like I said, I use the e.l.f. Poreless Primer to prime my face, and then I did use my Hourglass Stick Foundation, and I am in the color Warm Beige. So right now, I'm just blending it in. And like I was saying, I've noticed that I have had some postpartum hair loss. Like, I didn't know it was a thing until my sister told me about it. And I started noticing in some videos that I'm, like, literally missing hair. Like, if you can see here, if I just, you know. I've always had, like, very, like, thin hair. But ever since I had Haley, I don't know. I'm just going bald. And she's driving me crazy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's a security fiddle. Just a little terremoto sometimes. I'm like, girl... So she's like the cutest, but when she has like, when she wants something or she's not happy, she can wake up the whole neighborhood. And I'm using the e.l.f. sponge to blend my foundation. Alright, so let's move on to concealer. I am using the Born This Way concealer and I am in the color medium. We're gonna go ahead and set it i do have two setting powders so i'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye and for my under eyes i'm gonna go ahead and use the becca um, hydra mist set and refresh powder and i'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye with this Alrighty, and then for the rest of my face i'm gonna go ahead and pick up my favorite fit me maybelline uh loose finish powder to set the rest of my face and then for this one i am in the color 20 light medium and then when I do want to remove the translucent powder with the same brush, I just go ahead and move it. I don't want to leave it there too, too long just because it makes my under eyes really dry. I'm literally staring at this eyeshadow. So pretty. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and move on to bronzer. And then for bronzer, I'm using my favorite, the Too Faced Beach Bunny Bronzer. And I am going to bronze my entire face. Let's move on to blush and then for this one i'm using one of my all-time favorites which is the nars blush and this one is called love joy if you guys don't have this blush this blush is a must and because our eyes are kind of like really bright that's why i picked up a more neutral blush but this one has like a pink undertone which is so pretty 
And then we are almost done with our face. We're gonna go ahead and move on to highlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my favorite Bobbi Brown highlight. And I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight high tips of my face. All right, so let's go ahead and finish our eyes. For our eyes, I don't wanna go too, 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 too crazy just because we have a lot going on up here. I'm actually just gonna use two shades. All right, so I'm gonna pick up Lolly Mama, which is this light pink. I'm gonna go ahead and just smoke this um, on my lower lash line. And then I'm using the brush where I was picking up My Man. So it has a little bit of that shade, so I'm just mixing both of the shades, My Man and Lolly Mama. Alright, and now to intensify it just a little more, I am picking up the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil, and this one is from Urban Decay. So I'm just going to go ahead and line my waterline. Alright, so the last thing that we're going to go ahead and do is put on some mascara under our bottom lash lines, and we should be pretty much done. So let's not forget our setting spray. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move on to our lips. I did pick up a couple of Morphe lip liners when I went to the store yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and try one of these. All right, so I did change my lip color to a lip gloss just because I didn't like the other one that I had on. So I put just literally a lip gloss and this one is the NYX Tan Bronze Lip Gloss. And I just pop it on my lips. And that's it. Alright guys, well that completes the look. This is what I came up with using the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Palette Volume 2. Let me tell you girl, I love it. I am really surprised of how good all of these shadows were except for the No Joke shade. I just noticed that the lid shade did not pack on very well. I did get a couple of patches here and there that the color wouldn't stick to my lid. But I did hear a lot of people having issues with the with the shade, no joke. So I wasn't surprised. But um, I mean, aside from that, all of these shades, all of these like really bright neon shades work perfectly like it was so easy to blend they were super creamy living my best life which is this red one that literally glided on when i swatched it like butter and i was a little you know sad about the shade talia this one i just felt like it was just an ordinary gold color um i didn't see anything like really wow about it but then when i swatched drama queen this one right here this one is beautiful. This one will look amazing with, you know, for some of the girls that like more of a natural look, something more neutral, this will be beautiful, like on the lid with some brown on the crease. But I mean, aside from that, Tipsy Girl, Not My Journey, Therapy Sesh, like all of these other, My Man, Positivity, Feeling Myself, like all of those shades work perfectly like i literally cannot wait to pull this out and create other looks to be honest i am really 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 loving this palette like i really loved the first palette so i really wasn't expecting anything less just because morphe they have amazing products they perform super well they are extremely cheap and they are quality products it's really hard for you know a makeup brand to have really really good products that are cheap like really good things are expensive so i was super super happy with the palette i am in love with this palette i literally cannot wait to play with it i hope you guys love the look that i came up with it's giving me some scented vibes that i'm not mad at it all right, guys, so that completes my video. I hope you guys found it extremely helpful. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.
say hi to everybody. Hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, are so you gonna do mama's makeup? Okay, go. Don't leave me. Okay, kissy. Kissy before you leave. Okay, mama, kissy. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> Can you pretend you love me? So without any further ado guys, thank you so much for watching and let's go ahead and move on to the show. Let's go ahead. <laughs> Dude, every time like I freaking film a video, like if I'm not poking my eye, I'm banging my head on the bookshelf. I love you. <laughs> uh, see, even Kadal's laughing. <laughs>